you would not accept me for acting like a woman, would you, on certain days? You would not. So all I'm simply saying is this. I'm taking her logic and using it back on her. And when you take her logic and say it back again, it sounds stupid. But and I'm saying, I'm simply saying, why is it that a woman can pick and choose when she can be a lady, but a man is expected to be a man at all times? In other words, her rules are negotiable. My rules are static. And I'm here to tell y'all, that's fucking bullshit I me as a man hell. i will not tolerate and or accept a woman that brings her own table or acts like a guy because Honestly, i know that's let, like me a social let me finish let me finish let me finish because i know that's going to cause problems in the future because for a relationship to work one person has to be at the helm one has person has to be the leader and i know for a fact right when men lead it works when women lead it doesn't men lead women follow has been that way since the beginning of time if you lined up 100 women 95 of them are going to say, I want my man to be the leader. Now, are there exceptions to the rule? You might be a girl that says, I want to lead. You might be a girl that says, I want to lead. But guess what? Most women don't want to lead. 10 breakups, five breakups. They might nowadays, but for the yeah, most you part, you know what? Don't. Hold on, hold on. Let's use our logic against her. Question for you, real fast. You want a man that's stronger, taller, more ambitious, and makes more money than you, I would assume? Yeah. You would? Okay, what if I called you a dumb bitch that's broke? How would that make you feel? That'd be incorrect. Broke. Fantastic. So why is it that a man that wants a woman that's young, attractive, and fertile, insecure, and weird, or what the fuck, whatever shame language you used? Well, you're talking about physicality, but you were talking about, you were talking about physicality, but I'm speaking about- No, I'm just using your logic back against you. See how what a man wants is demonized versus what you want is not demonized? Not one of the guys here is insulting women for wanting a man that's taller, more ambitious, or makes more money or successful. Men understand this and accept it. That's why men go out to the world and work and become better versions of themselves. Women don't accept it. They think they should be taken however they come. And my argument is that women need to self-improve just like men do. Just that they have the hubris to think that they're perfect the way they come. That's not how the world, the way the world works. That's okay. fine with me. That sounds fantastic on paper, but it doesn't work in practice. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, Women don't know what they want, quite frankly. I'll just be honest about it. And they've done studies that actually prove women don't know what they want. A girl says she what? wants versus what she's aroused by are two different things. Okay. A girl might say, I want a nice guy that's going to treat me well and give me a white picket fence in a house. But the reality is they're going to want to deal with the fuck boy that's an asshole that doesn't give them that much attention. That's the guy that she's sucking his dick every night. Mm. And they actually did a study at a university where they showed women erotic image. So this is what happened, right? So to prove that women don't know what the fuck they want. This is, literally was proven. They took men and they took women and they took uh, gay men, right? And lesbian women. And what they did was they asked them, what are you attracted to? And they all put on a piece of paper what they're attracted to. Then they showed them a bunch of stimulating images, okay? They showed like monkeys banging, dudes kissing, dude and girl kissing, guy walking on the beach shirtless, whatever it may be. They showed them a bunch of different erotic images. Mm -hmm. With the men, what they said they were, and they uh, attached electrodes to their genitals, and they also gave them a finger clicker, okay? So they clicked on the image if they're aroused by it. But the electrodes attached to their genitals also revealed blood flow, right? If they were getting aroused. So very interesting. With the men, they said, well, I like girls and that's pretty much it. So everything they clicked on matched with what they were aroused by. Men are pretty congruent, right? Right. The, the gay men, same thing. When they were seeing two dudes banging, they were aroused when they saw girls kissing, whatever, like, ah, okay, made sense. With the women though, however, what the women clicked on at what they liked was only the politically correct, socially acceptable things but the electrodes proved that they were actually aroused by almost everything. Okay. So this proves my point that women don't know what they're aroused by. They may know what they like on paper, but what they're aroused by are two different things. And typically women say they like things that are uh, politically correct and socially acceptable. No girl's gonna admit, I like to be treated like a slut and jizzed on my face. Most girls aren't gonna say that. They're gonna, they're gonna say, I want a gentleman that's gonna treat me well and be a gentleman. Uh, a nice gentleman to me. can jizz on my face and fuck okay. me nice and but, choke me out. I don't okay. see what's wrong with that. But a lot of girls aren't willing to accept that, especially in public. You know what I'm saying? I need a girl that's gonna understand what I go through. Who's gonna keep a motherfucker on top of his toes, that's gonna push him and motivate him. You know what I mean? That's also gonna come with some ideas. You know what I mean? Be, give me creative criticism on my grind. You know what I mean? Also add add to the to, to the table. You know what I mean? Not just trying to grab some food every time it's, it's filled up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You gotta bring something to this table. Like fucking pussy is over with after a certain time. Like we could I could fuck any bitch I ever wanted in my life. I always have. That's not appealing to me no more. You know what I mean? Once you get money and once you was already having that, you gotta bring more. Your energy gotta be right. Your mind gotta be right. That body don't mean nothing after a while. You know what I'm saying? A nigga will fuck anything, man. <laughs> so, like, you could be the bad. baddest bitch in the world. That's yeah. fine. Nigga gonna have you, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch, a two and a three. A nigga will do that. Yeah. Happens yes. all the time. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z had Beyonce, he still fucks some other pussy. How can you beat that? Because <laughs> he would just want some new pussy on his cock. So that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy, it's your mind, what you bringing to help me grow. And it was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah,
Preach, brother. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. But Absolutely. a bad bitch brings inspiration nah, that you not will to know, not, not to get. know a real nigga that already yeah. had that. If you got a fat, lame, rich nigga that need all that, I just want a bad bitch, that nigga, he's a square. Mm-hmm. He's a nobody. Yeah. But a nigga that been sufficient his whole life and got every girl he wanted, what is a bad bitch doing for me? That's nothing. We always had that. What you bringing more than just being a bitch? It's a, all, it's a million bad bitches walking this earth. That's the cheapest and most easiest thing to get for a nigga got some money is a bitch and some pussy. Bam. You go to, like I said, you go to Brazil right now, it's going to be a 10,000 bad bitches you've seen in your life. You get them bitches $1 and a coffee, and that bitch going to lick your feet, man. That ain't work. That's worthless to a real nigga, man. Right. You got to be a fat, slow brain, regular ass nigga that finally got some money to be imposed, and I got, oh, I got a bad bitch. Like, come on, man. Like, that's a different type of breed of human that get they, they rock soft to that. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Y'all get your money now. Go f- get all them niggas. But a nigga like me, that shit is, like, it's nothing. You know what I mean? We got our energy's got to be connected. You know what I'm saying? We got to we got to grow together. That's the most important. So thing. you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do actually. So you above basic? Well, you don't work. You don't have no attributes to the table here. Like what I are we do talking have about? attributes. I'm, like a, what? I'm, a, I'm, I inspire my men. How? You don't got no job. You got what's your education? Listen, what, when, your but you have to no, but you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not. When you're t- when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to plenty of rich men. I do. T- I'm, I'm a rich I, man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, two acres. Yes. Oh, I two would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> Go ahead and show, show me the title. To, we gotta show a paperwork to somebody that got no paper. That would make no sense. Show me, <laughs> show me, pull up that deed. 